Greetings, everybody, and welcome to the Stratomatic Baseball Network. This is Jeffrey Guterman, and today we have August 1, 1969, the 1969 replay. First game of a three-game, Cincinnati at Philadelphia. I've already almost completed my first pot of coffee this morning, so I'm going to have to make a new one uh, sometime during this ball game. To the Cincinnati Reds, leading off Pete Rose, playing right field, batting second, Bobby Tolan in center field, batting third, Alex Johnson in left, cleanup hitter, Tony Perez, third base, Lee May bats fifth at first, Johnny Bench catching, Woody Woodward playing shortstop, batting seventh. Chico Ruiz, batting eighth at second. And Tony Cloninger, a right-hander, batting ninth. He is the pitcher. For the Philadelphia Phillies, leading off Tony Taylor at second base. Batting second, Larry Heisel in center. Batting third, Dick Allen at first base. The cleanup hitter, Johnny Callison, in right. Darren Johnson at third. Batting sixth, Don Money, the shortstop. Batting seventh, Rich Barry, in left field. Batting eighth, Mike Royan, the catcher. And the pitcher, batting ninth, a left-handed pitcher, Woody Fryman. And very shortly, we expect the Phillies to take the field. This is the first of a three-game series. The Reds come into this tied for third place with Houston, 11 games behind the first-place Braves in the Amer National League West. The Phillies are in last place, 27 and a half games behind the first-place Pittsburgh Pirates. The next game on our schedule is the San Francisco Giants at the Pittsburgh Pirates. This will be the first of a three game series. Pitching for the Giants will be Mike McCormick. For the Pirates, it's undecided at this point. We don't know. 
but we're looking forward to finding out. And Kathy Harden has arrived. Good morning to you, Kathy. I'm not sure when this Giants game... Good morning, Dan. I'm not sure when this Giants game will be played and broadcast, but I'm hoping it's today. We are at Connie Mack Stadium. We want to welcome you here to the Stratomatic Baseball Network. My name is Jeffrey Guterman. Ah, I'm going to go ahead and start the ball game a little early, if that's okay with you. The Phillies take the field. Woody Fryman on the mound for the Phillies, setting up the Phillies defensively in the infield. Allen at first. Taylor at second, Johnson at third, Money at short, Left uh, outfield left to right is Barry, Heisel, and Callison. Fryman on the mound, catching him Mike Ryan, and leading it off for the Cincinnati Reds is Pete Rose. Good morning to you, Dan. Hope all is well with you. Here comes Pete Rose, a switch hitter, batting right against the Southpaw Fryman. Ah, Fryman is ready. Here's the windup. And the pitch to Rose, 6-10. He struck him out. I'm sorry. He grounds out to short. I'm so sorry, batting right-handed. But we are underway. Good morning. So Rose is retired. Uh, happy birthday to you, Dan. Here's Bobby Tolan now. Left-handed hitter, it's lefty-lefty. One out, nobody on. Coffee brewing. Went through a pot already this morning. Here's Fryman and the pitch to Tolan. 3-3, three, three, grounds it to first. Dick Allen has it, and it's two outs. Here comes Alex Johnson, a right-handed hitter. <sighs> Fryman, the pitch to Johnson. One six, and there's a base hit up the middle for Alex Johnson, a two-out single. Johnson on first with two outs. Harden wants the fills. Here's Perez now. And the pitch from Fryman. 6-10 grounds it to short. Money has it over to Allen and the side is retired. No runs, one hit, and one left on in the top of the first. It's Cincinnati nothing, and Philadelphia coming to bat. 
Here's Tony Cloninger for the Reds, setting up the Reds defensively in the infield. Lee May at first, Ruiz at second, Woodward at short, Perez at third, in the outfield left to right, Johnson, Tolan, and Rose. Cloninger, a right-hander on the mound, and Johnny Bench catching him behind the plate. And leading it off for the Phillies is Tony Taylor. Here's the pitch from Cloninger. 5-6, he flies it to right field. Under it is Rose and it's one away. Here's Larry Heisel. Pitch to Heisel. 111 grounds it to short. That's for Woodward. Throws it to Lee May at first. Two away for Dick Allen. Here's the pitch to Allen. 5 6, fly ball right. Rose makes the catch and the side is retired. I tell you what, maybe I will have a, after one, by the way, it's scoreless. Maybe with that um, Giants at Pittsburgh game. We'll look at the regular baseball schedule. They have Sunday night baseball. I like to, I, I like to avoid conflicting with real world baseball. Uh, there is one night game, Phillies at Texas, that's real world. I might just do a night game tonight, and I might do one at about, who knows, 6 or 7 p.m. Eastern. I'll decide when I get to it, because uh, I think that would be a good thing to do an evening Real evening game, 7 p.m. See if I'm able to do that. And we'll go off on the, uh, the other stuff until I start the ball game. We're headed to the top of the second. The coffee is ready. I just want to let you all know. The coffee is good and ready. And I'm going to go fetch a cup if you don't mind. And then we're gonna resume Stratomatic 1969 baseball. Yeah. Kathy Harden, I trust you have your coffee in check. Let me go fill a cup. This is my last coffee. I need to buy some today. But we'll be we'll be okay through this ball game. Okay, we head to the top of the second. The Reds will bat now. And leading it off is Lee May against Woody Freeman. Oh, shit. That adds character. That's a little coffee stain on Lee May. You know, you play a, a full season, a replay, 1,944 games, you're going to get stuff like that. We'll let him dry out uh, after this at bat. Here's Fryman now, the pitch to May. 3-9, and it's hit deep by Lee. Oh, to left field. Back to the wall goes Barry, it is gone. Lee May, coffee stain and all, hits a home run. 
And the Reds take a one nothing lead. Mike, let's look at that. 3-9. Home run clean as a baby's ass. And we'll let Lee dry off here. We'll let him just dry off. A home run by Lee May. Off of Freeman. So it's one nothing Reds. And here's Johnny Bench now. Okay, Fryman is ready. Here's the windup and the pitch to bench. For 10, fly ball left. That's hit well too, but playable by Barry. And there's one away. Now Woody Woodward, the batter. I was listening to the Dodger game, Real World, last night. It started about 9 p.m. Eastern. It was very enjoyable. Got off to a 5-0 lead with a grand slam. Uh, then it was 5-1. I trust they won the ball game. Of course, I fell asleep. Uh, the final score, 10-1. How do you like that? 10-1. Okay, one out, nobody on. Woody Woodward is the batter. He may dry it out. Ah, I can't get this thing straight. Uh, bear with me. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, Fryman's ready now. Here's the windup and the pitch to Woodward. 11. Grounds it to third for Darren Johnson. He throws it to Allen and it's two down. Chico Ruiz with two outs, nobody on. One in on the solo home run to start the inning off by Lee May. Here's Fryman. The pitch to Ruiz. Four eight. Base hit up the middle. That's the third hit allowed by Freiman today. So Ruiz on first with two down, and here comes the pitcher, Tony Cloninger. Cloninger is a two NR. And the pitch from Fryman. 5-4. Fly ball center. Heisel. He's a 3. 3-3. Three, three. He makes the catch. And the side is retired. No, uh, One run on two hits. A solo home run by Lee May. A single by Ruiz. He was left on in the middle of the second. It's one nothing Cincinnati. And Cloninger takes the mound. He retired the Phillies in order in the first. <coughs> Leading it off for the Phillies is Johnny Callison, the right fielder. It's uh, He's a left-handed hitter. Hey, Cloninger is ready. And here's the pitch to Callison. 112 walked him. So there's the first base runner for the Phils. Callison on first. He's the tying run. And DJ is the batter. DJ Johnson.
Cloninger works from the stretch now, and the pitch to DJ. Yeah, 6-11. And that's a, oh, that's a grander to short, picked up by Woodward over to Ruiz to May for the double play. A 6-4-3 to four to three double play on a hard-hit ground ball by Darren Johnson. And there are two outs with nobody on now for Don Money. Money, right-handed hitter. Here's Cloninger. And the pitch. And that is a base hit by Money, a two-out single. Now, Rich Barry, a rare start for Rich Barry. He had 32 at-bats, and he hit 188. But he was in the lineup today, and so we put him in using Baseball Digest, BaseballReference.com. Okay, here's the pitch to Barry with two outs and money on first. 310, grounds it to third. That's for Perez over to Lee May, and the side is retired in the bottom of the second. No runs for the Phillies. One hit, a walk, and one left on. After two, it's one nothing Cincinnati. Leading it off for the Reds. In the top of the third will be Pete Rose. Rose grounded to short. Ah. Okay, Fryman is ready. Here's the pitch to Rose. 112, switch hitter against the lefty. It's a grounder to short for money. Throws it to Allen, and there's one away. Second ground out to short by Rose today. Now Bobby Tolan, who grounded to first. No. And the pitch to Tolan. 5-5, walked him. Fryman loses Tolan on a base on balls. He's on first with one out. He's an A, being held. He's a 1-13 to with Ryan. Here's Alex Johnson. Johnson singled, left on base in the first. From the stretch, Fryman. 5-8, walked him. So two consecutive walks thrown by Woody Fryman, and the Reds have first and second with one down, and Tony Perez the batter. The still slightly moist Lee May from a coffee drop is on deck, but he's drying out. May ground it to short, in the first. Here's Fryman from the stretch. First on second, one down. Pitch to Tony, 2-4. And it's a ground ball to third. Johnson over to Taylor to Allen for a double play. So the Phils get their double play to end that inning. There were no runs, no hits, two walks, one left. And in the middle of the third, it's a, still a one nothing ball game. And we want to welcome you to the Stratomatic Baseball Network. And we hope that your day has started well.
Well, here come the fills. Ryan leads it off. Fryman is on deck. And then we'll go back to the top of the order with Tony Taylor. Cloninger on the mound for Cincinnati. Uh, okay, Cloninger into his windup. Here's the pitch to Mike Ryan. 2-12. Lines it to third. Perez has it. One down. Now Fryman, a one and R. The pitch to Fryman. Five eleven. And it's hit deep. Way back. Gone by Fryman. Woody Fryman. Got a Tony Cloninger fastball and knocked it out of the park. Oh my, he's an N. One NR, 5'11, N home run clean as a baby's ass. So who would have thought? Woody Fryman. And it happens, people. Oh Lord, it happens. These, some of these pitchers are really good athletes. They can pitch, but they can also hit. <laughs> so it's a one-to-one -one ball game. And here comes Tony Taylor. That surprised a lot of people, and I think even surprised Woody Fryman. Okay, back to the top of the order, Tony Taylor. Here's the pitch to Taylor. 3-8. And that's a base hit for Taylor up the middle. He's a 1-10, to 10, would be 1-6. to 6, Being held with Bench's arm. It's not easy. It's not worth even thinking about. Taylor on first being held, one down. Heisel at the plate. Heisel Brown at the short. Cloninger from the stretch. Here's the pitch to Heisel. That's 6 7. Grounder to second. This could be two. Chico Ruiz, a 3. 9 3. And he turns the double play. It's a 4 to 6 to 3. Double play. Second double play turned by the Cincinnati Reds. The side is retired, no runs. A uh, one run. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's early. On a solo home run by Woody Fryman, the single by Taylor out in a double, none left on. We've gone three here at Connie Mack Stadium. And we've got a 1 1 ball game. Both pitchers have allowed solo blasts for the scoring. And here comes Lee May, the, the still slightly moist. Lee May. But like my mother said, you're not going to melt when we got caught in rain. She'd always say, you're not going to melt. So here's Lee May. He hit the home run for the Reds in the second. Ah, Fryman. Into his windup. Here's the pitch to May. 4 7, and that's a base hit for Lee May. Boy, he got a good cut at that and just sent it into the outfield, left field, for a leadoff single. So May is on first, and Johnny Bench is the batter. Bench flew to left in the second. Fryman from the stretch now. The pitch to Bench. 3-9. Flies it to center. Under it is Heisel, and he makes the catch. That was, wait a minute, 3-9. That's right. So it's one away, May holds. For Woody Woodward with one out and May on first. <laughs> so
It's about 9,000 here at this game, give or take. Here's the pitch to Woodward. 5-7, struck him out. Wood, uh, Fryman gets Woodward on strikes, and that's Fryman's first strike out of the game. Two down, and here comes Chico Ruiz, singled in the second and was left on base. Ryman Wines and the pitch to Chico. 4-7. And there's a base hit by Chico to left. May goes to second and holds. A two-out single, 4-7. By the way, I was listening to the, uh, you know, Charlie Steiner and Rick Monday on the game. Uh, the Dodger game, and Steiner referred to the starting pitcher, uh, Clay Kershaw, as a veteran, the veteran pitcher. And boy, that made me realize how time has flown. I mean, I remember when he first came up. You know, I just wanted to say that. You know what they say, life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. That's what Lennon said. It's two outs, first and second. Tony Cloninger, the pitcher now. He flew to center in the second. He's a two N R. Fryman now gets the sign from Mike R uh, Ryan. Here's the pitch. Three five. He grounds it to shortstop. And Don Money has it, throws it over to Allen at first, and the side is retired. No runs for the Reds in the top of the fourth. Two singles, and they were both left on base. And after three and a half, it's a 1-1 ball game. Yeah, that made me feel, whoa, a veteran. Okay. Well, here we go to the top, the bottom of the fourth, and the Phils and Reds locked in a 1-1 tie. And leading it off will be Dick Allen. Callison is on deck, and then DJ. There was a time this season when all three of these players were on the... It's a nice and neat ball game, no doubt about it, Kathy. All three of these folks were on the injured list. That lasted for a couple weeks, but they're all back in full force. Dick Allen leads it off. Cloninger now. And the pitch to Dick Allen. 1-8. And that's hit for a base hit. Up the middle for Dick Allen. So Dick Allen. On first, he's a B. That means the Reds are holding Dick on first base. It'll be a one to, uh, <laughs> a one to six. <laughs> Here's Johnny Callison now. And Callison, a left-handed hitter. Cloninger from the stretch with Dick on first. And the pitch, 210. Grounds it to th uh, second for the force. So Dick Allen is out, and there's one out, Callison on first. He's an East stealing, not being held. And here comes DJ. Here's the pitch from Cloninger. 1-4, fly ball left. Alex Johnson makes the catch, two down. Callison holds for Don Money. And here's the pitch to Money. 1-5, and that's Hit deep to left center, 
Going back is Johnson, can't get it. Goes to the wall, Money rounding. Callison scores, and Money has a triple. A two-out triple by Don Money. And the Phils lead a two to one. Oh my, let's look at that again. One to five, triple one to three, and it was a three. Don Money with a two-out triple with Callison, a one-out trip, a two-out, I'm sorry, with the Callison on first, scoring Callison. So, John's, uh, money on third with two down. Rich Barry is the batter now. He grounded to third. Here's the pitch to Barry. 2-8. Fly ball left, Johnson makes the catch and the side is retired, but it's nice to see Money get uh, a nice hit there, a triple. And there was one run on two hits, the single by Allen, forced. Callison came home on the triple by Money and Money was left on base. And after he got his Money pitch, indeed that was a Money pitch. And his hit was on the Money too. Uh, it's a two to one ball game, Phillies now, after four. And it will be the top of the Reds order here in the top of the fifth. And Pete Rose will lead it off. Pete is 0 for 2. He granted to short twice. Ryman is ready. Here's the pitch to Rose. 2-7. Ground ball second. Tony Taylor throws to Dick Allen. There's one away. And that's the way to do it. Keep Rose off base. Here's Bobby Tolan now. Bobby grounded out and walks. Ryman is ready. Here's the pitch to Tolan. That's 3-4. And it's hit deep by Tolan. Deep to right. Going back Callison. It's gone. Tolan with a home run. And that ties up the ball game. 3-4 home run. 1-2-18 gone. So... That's the third home run in this ball game. Tolan with a dinger. It's one out, nobody on. And here's Alex Johnson. By the way, Tolan had 21 home runs. He had 637 at bats. You want to talk about a everyday player? Wow. Here's Alex Johnson now. Singled and walked. It's two. It's two-two ball game now, with Tolan's home run. Here's Fryman, and the pitch to Johnson. That's a one-three, and he grounds it to first. Dick Allen has it, and it's two away. Now Tony Perez. Tony is zero for two. Ran it to short and then into a double play with a ground ball to third. Two outs, nobody on, top of the fifth. Here's the pitch to Tony. 2-11. Grounder to third again. It's picked up by Johnson and he throws to first and the side is retired. But there was another run. On one hit, a solo blast by Tolan, and we've gone halfway, unless we have extras or something. It's a 2-2 ball game. I think we have a pretty good ball game here, don't you, Kathy? I think it's a, it's a, just a, a very nice ball game. And Mike Ryan, the catcher, will lead it off. 0 for 1. Fryman on deck. He did hit a home run. <laughs> 
right, two two ball game. Very nice and neat ball game. Looks very nice. I'm gonna get some coffee if you don't mind. Woo. I have one more cup after this. I'm pacing it nicely. I'll need to get coffee. Absolutely. Okay, here we go. Mike Ryan facing Cloninger. Cloninger winds and the pitch to Mike Ryan. That's 4-11 and it's a base hit to left. Johnson throws it in. And there's the go ahead run on first with Mike Ryan. And Woody Fryman is the batter. He's an A bunter. The infield is in on that. He's going to lay it down. I know it. Here's Cloninger from the stretch. The pitch to Fryman. Yes, he lays it down and oh, go. my goodness, it's a beauty. He beats it out. Fryman beats out the bunt. Ryan goes to second. My goodness. <clears throat> Woody Fryman doing all sorts of things with the bat today. A solo home run in the third. Now he tries to sacrifice Ryan, and he beats out the bunt. They have no play at first. As Ryan reaches second safely, it's first and second, nobody out. And here's Tony Taylor. Surprise from Fryman. Taylor one for two. Here's the pitch to Taylor now. 6-12, and that is a line out to short, one away. Runners hold for Larry Heisel, 0 for two. from the stretch. He gets the sign from Bench. And the pitch to Heisel. 1-4. Fly ball center. This is playable by Bobby Tolan. He makes the catch and that's two away. So Cloninger trying to get out of this. But Dick Allen will have something to say before that happens. And Gigi has arrived. Good morning to you, sir. We're in the bottom of the fifth. 2-2 two -two ball game. Reds at the Phillies. Reds. Fryman for the Phils. Two outs, bottom of the fifth. Phillies batting. First and second. And here's the pitch to Dick Allen. That's 5-7. And he flies it to center field. Tolan makes the catch on the side is retired. There were no runs in the bottom of the fifth for the Phillies on two singles, both left on. Two, uh, first and second, no outs, and Cloninger got out of it. We move to the top of the sixth, and it's gonna be Lee May, a ever gradual, he's pretty dried out now. It's, now it's become a sort of a uh, Battle scar. That's very nice. May leads it off. A solo home run, then singled to lead off the fourth left on base. And here's Fryman now. Ah, here's the wind up and the pitch to May. 110 grounds it to short. Money is on the money. Throws it to Allen for the first out. And here's Johnny Bench, 0 for 2. Flew to left, flew to center.
Oh. Fryman winds and delivers. For five. Fly ball to center. Uh, to right, I'm sorry. And Callison holds it down. Two away. And here's Woody Woodward, 0 for 2. Ah, here's Fryman now, the pitch to Woodward. 5-11, base hit to left for Woodward, a two-out single. His first hit of the ball game. And Chico Ruiz has two singles, two for two. Switch hitter batting right with Woodward on first, two down, but top of the sixth. Reds and Phillies tied at two. Fryman is ready. And the pitch to Ruiz. 6-11, right-hander, grounds it to third. DJ has it and throws it to Dick Allen. And the side is... Retired. No runs, one hit, and one left, middle of the sixth. I'll tell you, both pitchers pitching decent baseball here. It's a 2-2 ball game. And Tony Cloninger takes to the mound to start his sixth inning. Johnny Callison will lead it off, a left-handed hitter. He walked, reached on a force, and scored the tying run. Again on the triple by money. Here's the pitch to Callison. 6-7. Grounded a second. That's for Chico. Chico's a three. And he throws him out. So one out in the bottom of the sixth. And D.J. Johnson steps in. D.J. 0 for 2 today. Grounded into a double and flew to left. Money on deck. Ah. And Tony Cloninger winds the pitch to D.J. 3-8. And that's hit deep by D.J. Way back and left, and it's gone. A home run by DJ Johnson. Oh my, oh my. And the Phillies take a three to two lead. Three eight, one to nine, it was a six. DJ Johnson just smashed that ball out of here. Second home run allowed by Cloninger. Both have allowed, both pitchers have allowed two home runs. But that was a big one. DJ Johnson with a one out home run. And here's Don Money. <laughs> one out now, nobody on. Money one for two, singled and tripled home run, the tying run back in the fourth. Here's the pitch to Money. 6-11. He grounds to short two outs. By the way, in an interview with Dick Allen, he said that he never saw anyone hit a ball as hard as Darren Johnson. Just to let you know. So it's two outs, nobody on. Here's Rich Barry. Barry is 0 for 2. Cloninger winds and the pitch to Barry. 5-11, it's hit deep by Barry. Oh, he's a W power, so it's a base hit. Oh, oh, oh. cut off <laughs> by Tolan, holds him to a single. 5-11, end home run. And as you can see, he's got W power. That'll give him a base hit instead. Uh, Barry, though, gets a hit with two outs. Cloninger is 
vulnerable to fatigue this inning with one more hitter walk. There is action in the Reds' bullpen, and it's Wayne Granger. He pitched in real world. We try to follow the usages. If, if they were down 10 nothing, I wouldn't use him, but it's a close ball game, so Granger is warming up. Barry on first, two down, one in on the home run by DJ. And Mike Ryan is the batter. Mike is one for two. Here's the pitch from Cloninger. That's six, four. Grounds it to short. Woodward, a three. One, three, it's a base hit. Barry goes to third. And that's it for Tony Cloninger. I don't care if the pitcher's coming up. Tony is out. And they're not going to use Granger. They're going to use someone else because Granger would be the first batter up. We're just going to try to get the last out here. And the very dangerous Woody, uh, Woody Freiman is coming up. So Cloninger is knocked out of the box. He pitched five and two-thirds innings. He's, he's the loser of record. He allowed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten hits. He walked one. <sighs> Struck out no batters. He's allowed three runs, and he's responsible for Ryan on first and Barry on third. And coming in. here. To face Fryman will be Pedro Ramos. He's the man. Pedro Ramos comes in to try to put out the fire here in the bottom of the six. So Ramos, a right-hander, facing Woody Fryman. Fryman two for two. He hit the home run and then a base hit. Uh, beating out a bunt, I'm sorry. Same thing. Here's Ramos now. He's ready. Righty, righty, first and third, two outs, one in, three, two fills. The pitch from Ramos. Two, four, he struck him out. So Ramos does his job. The side is retired. But there was one run. Three hits, the solo home run by DJ Johnson, then two singles, Barry and Ryan left on base. We've gone six full, it's three, two Phillies. It's a, I'm enjoying this ball game. And Woody Fryman is the batter, they'll be a hitter for Pedro Ramos. Cloninger gets charged with three runs. see who it's going to be. It will be called uh, Granger coming in next inning. The hitter against the right left-hander uh, Woody Freeman. <sighs> is Jimmy Stewart. Stewart is a switch hitter, so he'll bat right against Fryman to open up here at the top of the seventh. We'll take a break after this half inning for the seventh inning stretch, about five minutes, and resume our ball game. Stewart batting right-handed against Fryman. Fryman is uh, vulnerable to fatigue this inning. Here's Fryman now, the wind-up, and the pitch to Stewart. 3-7, grounds it to short, and Money has it, one away. 
And we go back to the top of the order. Pete Rose 0 for 3. Ryman's done a good job of keeping him off base. He's a switch hitter. He'll bat right-handed against Freiman. Freiman winds and the pitch to Rose. Four, five. Fly ball right. And Callison makes the catch. Rose 0 for four today. And here's the dangerous Bobby Tolan who hit the home run in the fifth to tie the ball game. At the time, of course, Johnson's home run has put the fills ahead three to two. It's two outs, nobody on top of the seventh. Here's the pitch to Tolan. Four two, grounder to second. Picked up by Taylor and he throws it to first and it's a one, two, three for Woody Fryman. And he looks stronger there than he has at any point in the ball game. We're in the middle of the seventh inning stretch now. And it's Phillies three, Reds two, and Wayne Granger comes out. He is the third Reds pitcher. He takes his warm-ups. It will be the top of the Phillies order, Taylor, Heisel, and Allen. And while he's warming up, we will take a five-minute break. This is the Stratomatic Baseball Network. My name is Jeffrey Goodham, and we're hoping you are enjoying this ball game. I have just decided that I would very much like to challenge myself to have a game at 7 p.m. tonight, Eastern Time, U.S., and hold off on using the other stuff until that game begins. No reason why I can't do that. And that's going to be the Giants at the Pirates. McCormick for the Giants. And the pitcher for the Pirates has yet to be announced. That's because I Bunning pitched in real world. And he eventually ended up, I believe, on the Dodgers roster i'll have to double check on that maybe i maybe he, i don't think he's on the pirates but we'll see folks i'm jeffrey goodman this is the stratomatic baseball network i hope you're enjoying this ball game three two phillies in the middle of the seventh we're at uh, connie mac stadium and uh i'll be back in five to see Fryman pitching good baseball, isn't it? By the way, I'll be back. For that ball game with the Giants, I'm going to ingest that right there, Kathy Harden. It's waiting. It's waiting for me. <laughs> waiting patiently. Like a nice little bud should. Indeed. Oh, yeah, that looks good, doesn't it? Especially that's a powerhouse of the hit. I'm going to take that in one quick, mighty hit, and I'll be back. Not now, folks. That's for tonight.
go. Ugh.
Well, we're back. In what has become a very, very, very good ball game. Wayne Granger is the new pitcher for the Reds. I'm going to go fetch my final cup of coffee for this ball game. to finish off the pot. And I was just thinking out there, Kathy, that uh, I want the fills in this ball game. It's nice to see the Phillies beating the Reds. It'll be the top of the order here in the bottom of the seventh. And Tony Taylor will lead it off. Taylor is one for three today. New pitcher Granger, right-hander, is ready. Here's the pitch to Tony. 6-8, he struck him out. So Taylor retired. And here's Larry Heisel for three. Uh, Granger into his windup. Here's the pitch to Heisel. 5-6, fly ball to center, Tolan under it, two away for Dick Allen. Dick is one for three. He singled in the fourth, out in the force, and that's when money tripled Callison home. 3-2 ball game, Phil's leading. Here's the pitch to Dick. 4-9, grounds it to short, that's for Woodward, he's a 3, 14-3, and he boots it, oh, does he boot it for a two-base error, Woodward, the first error of this ball game, so Dick Allen on second with two outs, he really booted that one, and here's Callison, Ranger from the stretch and the pitch to Callison. 6 10, fly ball center, Tolan. 16 3, and he makes the catch, and the side is retired. No runs, no hits, the error, one left. After seven full, it's 3 2 Phillies. And here's Woody Fryman. He's allowed two runs on two solo home runs. One to Lee May, the other to Tolan. It'll be Johnson, Perez, and May here. In the top of the eighth. Here's Alex Johnson now. Johnson, one for two and a walk. I know that. Wow, that's amazing. Whatever happened to Rich Barry? He just couldn't make it in the majors? Make it in the bigs, Rich? Or what? Thanks for that factoid. Okay, we're ready. Fryman is ready. And Alex Johnson at the plate. Here's the pitch from Fryman. 
411. Fly ball left. Under it is Barry. And it's one away. Yeah, Barry started this game. Just got a put out. Here's Tony Perez now, 0 for 3, the very dangerous. That's it, dear Rich. That's, that's what happens. It's a shame. Ah, Fryman now. And the pitch to Perez. 1 8. It's hit deep by Tony. Gone for Tony Perez. A tying, game tying home run off Fryman. I was afraid of that. A 1 8, 1 to 13 home run. He got the three. And Perez with a home run, and it's a 3-3 three to three ball game. Oh, my. <laughs> it seems all three runs for the Reds on solo home runs. So look at that, Fryman. Now facing Lee May, who hit a home run. There is action in the Phillies' bullpen now. Boozer was used in real world, and he will be used if needed in this game. John Boozer. Whew. Lee May now, two for three. Here's Fryman, the pitch to May. 6-6, six, six, fly ball center. Heisel, two down. Four Johnny Bench, show for three. Or did Perez wallop that? Fryman gets the sign from Ryan. Here's the pitch to Bench. 3-3, three, three, and he taps it back to Fryman, who throws to Allen for the third out. But there was one run in the top of the eighth. On one hit, it was a solo blast by Perez. And it's a 3-3 three, three ball game. We move to the bottom of the eighth, and Granger now and Fryman are the pitchers of record. And leading it off is DJ Johnson. One for three, hit the home run. In the eighth, in the sixth, I'm sorry, to put the Phillies ahead. Johnson at the plate now. Ah, this is Granger's second inning. He's ready. Here's the windup and the pitch to DJ. 3-9, and that's a base hit for Johnson to open it up. A 3-9 single for the 14. Johnson on first, and here's Don Money. He gets a big hand. Two for three, single, tripled home Callison and grounded to short. The infield is in on Money. Ranger from the stretch and the pitch to Money. He lays it down. Oh, Lord help me. 11C. He pops it up to first. And at least it wasn't a double play. So it's one out and Johnson's still on first. For Rich Barry. Barry won for three today. And a Rare start. Granger from the stretch and the pitch to Barry. 5-2. And that's a line out to short caught by Woodward. Nice catch by Woody Woodward. It was 1-6 on the 5-2. And it was a seven. 
A beautiful catch by Woody Woodward. Two outs now. Holy shit. Okay. Oh, Lord. 81 years old. Okay, I wish I'd lived that long. Here's Mike Ryan, two for three today. Johnson is the tying run on first. I'm sorry, it's, uh, it's a 3-3 ball game. I forgot, I'm so sorry. Go ahead, run. Here's the pitch to Ryan. 1-6, pops it up to short, Woodward. Makes the catch and the side is retired. No runs, one hit, one left. We've gone eight full, it's 3-3. Three, three. Reds at the Phillies. Thanks for the factoid on that, by the way. Rich and we move to the top of the ninth. This might be Woodward's last inning. Most likely will be uh, Fryman's last inning. I'm so sorry. And leading it off is Woody Woodward. They will have a hitter for Granger. Woodward one for three today. Here's the pitch from Fryman. That's 1-8. And he grounds it to second for the out. That's one away. Now Chico Ruiz, two for three, two singles. Left on base both times. Switch hitter batting right against Fryman. Granger has not come out on the on-deck circle, so I was correct. They are going to have a pinch hitter, even with two outs, no one on. Here's the pitch to Chico. 2-7. Grounds it to short. Two down. And there'll be a hitter for Wayne Granger. Granger pitched two, effectively. Allowed one hit, no walks, a strikeout. And no runs. There will be a new pitcher to pitch to the Phillies in the bottom of the ninth. And that, that pitcher will be I want to see how many innings Carroll or Culver pitched in their last game. Bear with me. The reason why we can't use them a second day in a row, especially if they didn't pitch too much. Carroll pitched two, Culver pitched two, but it's okay. Uh, warming in the bullpen is Clay Carroll. He had 151 innings pitched. Carroll is warming. In the bullpen. Let's see who's going to come in to hit. He may not even be needed. <laughs> well, he is needed. I'm so sorry. Coming in to hit. Against the left-hander, Woody Fryman is Tommy Helms. With two outs, nobody on. Helm steps in. Fryman is ready. He gets the sign from Ryan. Here's the pitch to Helms. 210. Grounds it to second. Taylor has it, throws to Dick Allen, and it's another one, two, three for Woody Fryman. We're heading to the bottom of the ninth. It's a 3-3 ball game. And Clay Carroll is the pitcher for the 
Reds. And there will be a hitter for Fryman who's due up. Fryman can win, he can't lose. He can get no decision. He pitched nine. He allowed eight hits. I would say pretty good ball. He walked two. Struck out one. And allowed three runs on three solo home runs. Great job for Fryman, absolutely. And let's see who's going to come in and hit against Clay Carroll, the right-hander. And Boozer would be the pitcher if needed. It's going to be Rick Joseph. Rick Joseph, who is not in the starting lineup, he has a uh, minor sprain, but he's fine to play. Uh, to come up to bat. Rick Joseph leads it off. And Joseph has a bit of power. Clay Carroll is ready, bottom of the ninth. We're all tied at three. Here's Carroll now. Into his windup, the pitch to Joseph. 6-2. And that is a base hit for Rick Joseph. To lead it off, a 6-2 single, 1-6, and it was a 3. Joseph on first. Terry Harmon is coming in to run for Rick Joseph. Terry Harmon, a 1-14. So Harmon on first with nobody out, the winning run, and Tony Taylor the batter. Taylor one for four, Carroll from the stretch now. And the pitch to Taylor. Two seven, grounds it to short, double play. That was turned by Woodward. <laughs> Two outs, nobody on. Tough break for the Phils. Carroll gets the ground ball, double play ball. It's two outs, nobody on. And here's Larry Heisel. He's due. 0 for 4. Heisel has power. Ah. Carroll. The pitch to Heisel. 6-4, grounds it to short, Woodward 18-3. And it's a re-roll. That's a base hit for Heisel. Two out single keeps it alive in hopes of the Phillies taking this game here in the bottom of the ninth. Heisel being held one to six with bench. And here's Dick Allen. Allen one for four today. Last sip of coffee. Hmm. Oh, maybe I got another sip. Carroll is ready from the stretch. The winning run on first two down. And the pitch to Allen. 1-8. That smacked for a base hit. Heisel goes to third. Oh, my. <laughs> so Carroll has gotten into trouble here. Hardened pacing. First and third two down. And it all comes up to Johnny Callison. 
0 for 3 on a walk. Come on, Johnny. Just got a base hit. Because I'm not in any mood for extra innings right now. Here's Carroll now. The pitch to Callison. 6-9. Fly ball to center field. Tolan makes the catch, and we're going to extra innings. After nine, it's a 3-3 ball game. There is a new pitcher for the Phillies. His name is John, um, John Boozer. Boozer. I'll play one inning here. I have one sip of coffee. That's really coming down to the... <laughs> and it will be Rose Tolan and Alex Johnson in the top of the 10th, 3-3 ball game. Lord help us. And... Uh, let's hope Boozer is not a loser. Absolutely. Kathy Harden. Rose 0 for 4 today. Here's Boozer now. And the pitch to Rose. 110. Walked him. So the go ahead run is on first in Pete Rose. And here's Bobby Tolan. Tolan 1 for 3 with a walk. The infield is in, looking for a bunt. Boozer from the stretch. The pitch to Tolan. He doesn't bunt. 1-7. Fly ball to center. Under it is Heisel, one down. Infield is back now. Double play depth. Alex Johnson. One for three with a walk. Let's get that sip. Mm. Boozer, the pitch to Johnson. 5-8. Fly ball center again. Heisel, two outs. And Tony Perez, who hit the game-tying home run in the eighth. Tony is one for four. Boozer from the stretch with Rose on first. Here's the pitch. 2-7, grounds it to short, and the side is retired. So Boozer, after walking Rose, retires the side in order. We're heading to the bottom of the 10th. Clay Carroll comes in with his second inning. He ran into trouble in the ninth. Now it'll be Johnson, Money, and Barry. DJ Johnson... Don Money and Rich Barry. Johnson went two for four with a home run. His home run tied the ball game, uh, put the Phils ahead in the ball game. His home run in the sixth. Here's Carroll now. And the pitch to DJ. That's 2 9, and he struck him out. Now Don Money. Money two for four today. A single, a triple that brought home Callison. The pitch from Carroll. 6-10. Grounds it to third. There's Perez. He's a four. 19-4. And he throws him out. Two away. Now Rich Barry. Carroll is ready. Here's the pitch to Barry. 4-3. Grounds it to first. Lee May a three. Throws him out. So it's a 1-2-3 for Carroll. 
he was looking more like Clay Carroll, though. I'll go at least one more inning before suspending this due to fatigue. Boozer takes the mound for his second inning of relief. Lee May is the batter. May is two for four. A home run in the second, a single left on base. Boozer is ready. Here's the pitch to May. 2-4. Walked him. Well, another leadoff walk for the Reds. May is the go-ahead run. Here's Bench. Bench 0 for 4. Boozer from the stretch. For six, and that is a double. Oh, that's a re-roll on the 20 die. 18, it's a base hit. <laughs> They're lucky. First and third, nobody out. Boozer in trouble here. Now Woody Woodward. The infield is in for Woodward. One for four, Boozer. And the pitch to Woodward. 1-9. Fly ball left. This is deep enough for May to score. Rich Barry makes the catch. And Lee May tags with the go-ahead run. It's 4-3 Reds. Now Chico Ruiz with bench on first, one down. Chico, a switch hitter, batting left against Boozer. And the pitch, 6-5. And it's hit deep. And that is in the gap, and that is extra bases for Chico. Bench, rounding third, comes home, and Chico into third with a stand-up triple. 2-0. Uh, not two, I'm sorry. <laughs> Five to three ball game. Chico Ruiz with a big triple here to give the Reds a two run lead. It was a 6 5 triple. <clears throat> so it's one out, Chico. And Granger, uh, Clay Carroll will hit. Carroll going for the win. He's a 7-N-R, my goodness. Oh, tough ending here for the Phils, even though it's not over yet. <clears throat> Clay Carroll, a 7-N-R, with Ruiz on third and one down. Here's Boozer now. The pitch to Carroll. 2-7, he flies it to center. And that's deep enough for Chico to tag. Two sacrifice flies this inning. And a run batted in for Clay Carroll. And it's a six to three ball game. The Reds open it up with three runs. No reason to take Boozer out right now. It's two outs, nobody on. Rose at the plate. 0 for 4 with a walk, switch hitter batting left. Here's the pitch from Boozer. 4-7, and there's a base hit, and that will be it for Boozer. So Boozer is the loser of record. He pitched one and two-third innings. He allowed three hits. He walked two, struck out none, and has allowed three runs thus far. It's Rose on first, two down, Tolan. And coming in for Booz, uh, Bo um, Boozer.
is Jeff James. With a, a losing by three, pitched 32 innings, 5.40 ERA, but we're just asking Jeff to retire Tolan so we could move on with this ball game. James takes his uh, warm-ups. He's ready now. Here's Tolan, left-handed hitter. James, a right-hander. Tolan, one for three, uh, one for four with uh, a home run and a walk. Here's the pitch from James. Four-four, grounds to third. DJ, he's a four. Ten-four, and he boots it. So a nauseating top of the 11th for the Phillies. First and second, first error of the game for the Phils. Might as well go with it, uh, Kathy, right? Alex Johnson now, one for four and a walk. Big three run, 11th here for the Reds. James from the stretch. The pitch to Alex, 2-8, and he struck him out. And the side is retired, but there were three runs for the Reds on three hits, the triple by Chico. And um, we're moving to the bottom of the 11th. It's a six to three ball game. And here's Clay Carroll for the win. Boozer ends up allowing three earned runs. And he's the, Boozer is the loser of record. Here's Carroll now. It'll be Ryan, a pinch hitter, and then Tony Taylor. Here's Carroll. His third inning of relief, going for the win. The pitch to Ryan. 6-8. Grounds it to short, one away. The sacrifice fly by Carroll brought in the... Uh, third run, just for my information. First and third, there's one, there's two, and that's three, okay. Here's Ryan now. Uh, now there's a pinch hitter for James. Jeff James pitched one third. Coming in to hit is Ron Stone with one out, nobody on. It was a great ball game. Not that it's over yet, but it just, Boozer just <laughs> it fell apart in the 11th. Here's the pitch to Stone. 4-8, walked him. Okay, so Stone is on. He's a 1 to 13. Taylor at the plate now. Carroll from the stretch. And the pitch to Taylor. 4 5. Fly ball center. That's for Tolan. Two down. And the Reds uh, and Clay Carroll are one out away from the win. It's Larry Heisel with two outs and Stone on first. Carroll from the stretch. And the pitch to Heisel. 6-5. Grounder to short. That's for Woodward. He's a three. This could end the ball game. 3-3, three, three, and that's a base hit. So oh, give me a cardiac. Stone goes to second, and Dick Allen is the tying run at home plate. Dick is two for five, reached on an error, two singles. Carroll trying to get out of this. Dick is the tying run at home play. Two out, Stone on first. Uh, sorry, Heisel on first, Stone on second. Here's Carroll now. The pitch to Dick. 
411. Fly ball left. Going back is Alex Johnson. He's a four. Three, four. And he makes the catch. And the ball game is over. It was well hit, but not good enough. The final score, Cincinnati Reds six. Philadelphia Phillies three, tough loss for these Phillies. The win goes to Carroll. Carroll pitched three innings. He allowed three hits. He walked one, struck out one, and allowed zero runs. Boozer is the loser. The final line, Cincinnati, six runs, 11 hits, and one error. The Reds, three runs, wait a minute, 10, 11, 14 hits, 10, 11, 14 hits for the Phils, I'm sorry. The Phillies, I'm sorry, the Phillies had 14 hits. I am so sorry, people. That was 11 is correct. And one error. Tough game. Uh, I'm willing for nominations for star of the game. I nominate Clay Carroll. Uh, the what proved out to be the winning game, very good game, Kathy. What proved to be the winning run was knocked in by Woodward, but I'm gonna say Clay Carroll is the star of the game, pitching three scoreless innings, getting the win. That's it now, Cincinnati moves ahead of Houston there, two and a half behind now. Uh, I'm sorry, 10 and one half behind. And the Phillies fall back 28 games behind the first place amazing Pittsburgh Pirates. That's the game. I'll put this one in the books later. I am going for, I'm going to have, let me think about it, whether I want to play a game tonight. So there'll be no game scheduled for a while until I make my mind up. Uh, I want to thank everybody for being here on SBN, the Stratomatic Baseball Network, especially Kathy Harden. Rich, thanks for the factoids. Gigi, Kathy Harden, uh, this, you were right. We didn't want Boozer to be the loser, but he was. Uh, stay strong. I'll catch you all next time.